Hi, we're here at the National Hurricane Center on a very busy Saturday morning here with powerful Hurricane Umberto over the southwestern Atlantic and newly formed Tropical Depression 9 uh, just to the south southwest of the central Bahamas here. This system has just become a Tropical Depression here this morning and uh, is expected to bring some impacts to the Bahamas here in the next couple of days. We just issued a tropical storm watch for portions of the east coast of Florida and the potential is still there for some significant downstream impacts along portions of the southeast coast. So we'll take a closer look this morning at newly formed Tropical Depression 9 again centered about 115 miles to the south southwest west of the central Bahamas, getting better organized on satellite imagery and from the data we're getting from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Maximum sustained winds right now around 35 miles per hour. The storm, uh, the depression's moving off to the northwest this morning at about six miles per hour. If we look at the forecast, uh, we're pretty confident in the track forecast here for the next two to three days, which is going to have the system uh, becoming a tropical storm and moving through portions of the central and northwestern Bahamas tonight and Sunday, and then passing off the east coast of the Florida Peninsula as we go from Sunday into Monday and early Tuesday, expected to strengthen to a strong tropical storm and uh, eventually a hurricane by Tuesday morning. However, a reminder that the cone does not capture all the impacts from the storm. We have tropical storm warnings in effect for the central Bahamas, much of the northwestern Bahamas, and we've now issued a tropical storm watch from the Palm Beach Martin County line northward to the Volusia Flagler County line uh, along the east coast of the Florida Peninsula, including the Treasure, Treasure Coast, the Space Coast, up into the Daytona Beach area for the possibility of tropical storm conditions in those areas on Monday. We are expecting tropical storm conditions tonight and Sunday uh, in those areas in the warnings in the Bahamas, also expecting one to three feet of storm surge inundation in portions of the Bahamas above ground level. Uh, the rainfall is going to continue to be a uh, significant threat from the depression here, especially in eastern Cuba, where we're expecting isolated rainfall totals as high as 16 inches here. Widespread rainfall totals of 4 to 8 inches across much of the Bahamas that could cause some flooding concerns in those regions and, and some lingering heavy rainfall even across portions of Hispaniola and Jamaica. Uh, looking downstream, the most likely time of arrival of those tropical storm force winds, again in the watch area along the Florida east coast, will be during the day Monday. And then downstream, as we're expecting the system to stall and meander here off the southeast coast of the United States in the early to middle portions of next week, we can see tropical storm conditions arriving as soon as early Tuesday along portions of the Georgia and South Carolina coast. There are still multiple scenarios in play here, everything from a system that goes on and makes landfall along portions of the southeast coast to a storm that sits here and uh, meanders for a few days or a more distinct eastward motion that could take shape later this week. But it's not going to take a landfall here to bring the potential for dangerous storm surge conditions, uh, heavy rainfall, and the possibility of dangerous winds. If we look at that rainfall risk, this is for Monday. We have a broad risk of uh, flooding from rainfall across much of eastern South Carolina, southeastern North Carolina. That risk could shift and change as we go through the week and as the forecast of this system changes. So we'll wrap up this morning here on Saturday with the key messages for Tropical Depression 9 expected to strengthen to a tropical storm, bringing dangerous wind and storm surge and rainfall conditions to portions of the central and northwestern Bahamas. There's now a risk of tropical storm conditions along portions of the Florida East Coast where that tropical storm watch is in effect. Heavy rainfall will continue to produce dangerous flooding and mudslides in portions of eastern Cuba, Hispaniola, and Jamaica. And there is a significant threat of heavy rainfall across portions of the uh, U.S. East Coast from coastal Georgia up through the Carolinas and into the southern mid-Atlantic states, which could cause flash, urban, and river flooding. And the depression is expected to be at or near hurricane strength when it approaches the southeast coast next week. And uh, there could be storm surge and wind impacts in those areas, although it's too soon to specify exactly where. Everyone in those areas should continue to monitor the progress of Tropical Depression 9. Come back here to hurricanes.gov for the latest on the system. You can get more information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.